Hi everyone, Bess McCarty, Victoria, Kansas, here with the MLM Lunchtime Leadership Show, sponsored by our genetic school, the MLM Millionaire Academy, where we review one per, um, personal growth book a month. Right now, the book is High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard. How many people have read that? It's really good. Um, he says that, that your money, your looks, your strengths, your talents alone are not enough to create success, that you really need six habits that he's identified after interviewing over 500 people, successful people. He's come down to these six um, high performance habits. Three of them are personal. They're about, they're about us. And this is to seek clarity, to generate energy, to raise necessity. And then three are about social or other people. And that is to increase productivity, develop influence and demonstrate courage. So, um, this book goes into each of this. The review today happens to be over the second habit, which is generate energy. So this is R Ralph Waldo Emerson happens to agree with Benjamin Burchard. He said, the world belongs to the energetic. It takes a lot of energy to succeed in the long haul. And this is physical, emotional, and mental. So questions we can ask ourselves are, do I have the stamina? Do I have the mental stamina to be present and focused throughout my day? Do I have the physical energy to achieve my goals every day? And am I generally cheerful and optimistic? Those are good questions to ask ourselves. And Brandon says, by the way, did you know that marriage is good for your energy? That people that have surveys that have shown that people who are married have more energy than those who are not. Um, uh, other things that affect our energy is, did you know that about one third of Americans are obese? Only about 20% get enough exercise? and one third of all of us are chronically stressed on the job. So let's talk about some of these things that we can do. Brendan says there's three things that we can do to increase energy. One is to release tension. And that means what do I carry from one activity to the next, from one day to the next? What do I carry over with me that I can let go of? That's a burden, it's an anchor on my spirit. Um, so letting go um, can involve, well, how do I, how do I, letting go is a really big art, I think, you know, letting go, letting go of things. Um, this is how I remind myself to do it. When I notice that I'm unhappy, <laughs> that I'm, that I'm gripey, that, uh, that I'm not feeling good, that I'm not having fun. When I notice there's a tension in my body, then I remind myself just to take a breath. Because <sighs> science has shown you cannot be stressed and breathe deeply at the same time. So it's a choice if I can remind myself to do that or reorient myself or say what this is about or be present, you know, not bring something from the past into what I'm doing um, with loved ones, you know, bring something from work into what I'm doing with loved ones, be totally present at that moment and let go of everything else. It's kind of a therapy to be able to do that. So breath is a good way to do that, to get present in the moment and let go of stress. Number two, he says, bring the joy to generate energy. First was release tension. Second is bring the joy. And um, most of um, it was Abraham Lincoln said so this quote, I'm realizing, reading, most folks are about as happy as they make up their mind to be. Abraham Lincoln, most folks are about as happy as they make up their mind to be. So it's really a choice. We can ask ourselves, well, what can I be excited about today? And, or um, like I asked, um, I got to see two butterflies um, take their first flight this morning. It was really exciting. You know, they started out as little caterpillars, and then they, they, um, they turn into butterflies with my friend's little butterfly uh, net cage, so the birds wouldn't eat them off the dill. And um, now they, they've turned into butterflies, gotten their wings, and we watched as they took flight into the sky for the first time. And imagine how thrilling that must be, just like my granddaughter taking her first step. She was so, so happy. I get to use my legs like other people around me. I've been laying there and crawling. Now I get to use my legs. How thrilling that can be. One time I asked a high school friend, a whole high school classmate who had a very long successful marriage so far, uh, um, 30, 40 years. And I asked her, well, what advice could you give from your success. And she said, well, I think that we have a good marriage because we seek ways every day to make the other person smile. They love to see each other smile. And I thought that was a really good tip. OK, 
Okay, the last tip that Brendan Burchard gives for bringing more energy is optimal health. And um, if we don't obey this and, and make sure that we're healthy on the way to our success, the bill comes due eventually, like John Maxwell, who had a heart attack and so he reoriented his priorities. Um, for me, I've tried to fudge on sleep and that didn't work very well. You know, my, my heart let me know about that. <clears throat> so I can't do that for, for very long without paying the price. So we want to take care of our, we want to take care of our health. Overall, Brenda says, make the commitment to be healthy and happy. <clears throat> you know, that makes us more attractive and generates more success. What could stop me? This is what, one thing we can ask ourselves. What could stop me from generating optimum health and happiness? And then remove whatever that is. Remove that block. Hope that helps for today. We'll see you all next time. I'm um, available for private coaching, helping people to have better health, wealth, and love in their lives and spiritual happiness too. Thank you for listening. Well, thank you for sharing the video. I uh, love your hear your comments below. Who has had some joy in their life today? What do you do to make yourself happy? Love to hear those in the comments below, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.